Hello then, welcome to Pure Farming 2018 with me, Stocko Gloss. How are you? I'm very well. Uh, you might have noticed, or you may not have noticed, but I've um, kind of uh, privated the videos on the first two episodes of Pure Farming, only because we had uh, uh, some some lag issues, and I've been sort of talking with Techland, um, who have been uh, who've been helping me out. So a massive thank you to them. So we're going to start a new game. My grandpa was a hard-working man. He loved his farm. It was his whole life. When I spent my holidays with him, he would let me help with all the work in the fields. At that time, I didn't realize that he was slowly inspiring me with his passion. The years passed, and I saw my grandpa less and less. I wanted to get away and go to the countryside as often as I could. Unfortunately, my dad was opposed to it. He thought that agriculture had no future, and that I'd only waste my time. And so my grandpa died before a decent successor stepped in. He left an open will and a debt-ridden farm. It seems that nobody wants to leave their urban comforts behind. I'm the only person who wants to save my family heritage. I'm not quite sure how to explain it, but in my heart, I'm sure I can do it. I have no doubt I'll be getting my hands dirty at the beginning. There's no time to waste. Let's get to work. Yeah, let's get to work. Okay, first you need to buy a barn and some calves and then you need to feed them. Cows can be fed with natural products such as grass straw and silage with special fodder. Keep in mind that animals fed. Um, okay. So how are you all? Yeah, so the reason I started this um, is oh, I've just got a big farming itch and I just need to itch it. Uh, we got Farming Simulator 2019 coming out next month. Uh, so um, I'll be looking forward to uh, playing a season of that. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, so... Uh, I do, I do love this. I do like this game. Uh, it, it offers something a little bit different to uh, to the FS uh, 2019. So uh, here we go. And I think I fixed all the little lag issues that we've got. Um, so okay, it's just going to tell you about movement and bank loans. Uh, your grandfather's debt, which you took over along with a legacy, has been formally assigned to your bank account and amounts to 275,000 euros. Wow. Uh, thank you, Chris Supervisor. Um, yeah, so we uh, we just jumped right into the game, and we're uh, over a quarter of a million euro in debt. Wow, and uh, we know how to how to move. Okay, so let's go outside. Task completed. Oh yes, well that's the end of the game. Well, we've completed it. We move from outside the house, uh, from inside the house to uh, to the outside. Now we've got to uh, welcome to the farm, and we've got to walk over to the indicated location over here. Yeah. What are we gotta do now? Find the potato storehouse, which I think is over here. The potato house. Uh, the graphics are on the highest setting possible, so this is uh, pretty much um, uh, how it looks. Ah, that's a pumpkin. Pumpkin collected. One of one hundred. <laughs> Oops. Um, this is where we uh, store the potatoes. There we go. And then we got to go to the shed, which is all the way over here. It's nice that they make you uh, sort of run around. But, um, yeah. I don't mind it. The game looks beautiful. There's been loads of updates since the last episodes. <clears throat> that was another reason why I wanted to uh, to redo this, se uh, this series. There we go. And then we got to get in the tractor. We're in the tractor. Okay, so the rear lift needs uh, need, uh, repair needed. The drive system. So we got to go repair the tractor because the tractor's in a pretty sore sore state. Can't speak today. There we go. And then I think we can come over to the diagnostics. And there we go. Okay, so it's in sixty percent state. So we just need to repair all, which is going to cost us just over three grand. So the tractor's good as new. Uh, we're just parking back up into the workshop here. Because you've got to go get into the combine harvester. Ooh. There we go. And I think we're going to repair this bad boy as well. Because I don't think it's 100%. So let's, let's park him in here. There we go. There we go. Yes, eighty-six percent. So now we can make it a hundred. There, cool. 
Okay. So what we've got to do, we've got to attach the header. So let's reverse this and there's the header over there. You can see the ghost combine. There we go. Now we've got to go to the edge of the field and yeah, I remember. I remember having to uh, to harvest this field next to us. It's all coming back to me now. Can I turn that beacon on? Um, yes, turn beacon on. There we go. How dare I get into a combine harvester and not pick the beacon view? Let's, uh, let's turn this bad boy on as well, which is this. Uh, turn that on. Lower the header. And then let's go to work. Cool. And I love the effects of the uh, all the dust kind of kicking up. It looks really cool. So yeah, massive thank you to uh, to, to Teclan who, who uh, who've been helping me with this um, sort of lagging issue, I suppose. This thing reverses so slow. This is the GS five seven five Plassey, and. Um, yeah, we got we got. I we don't know what the fix is. Uh, so if you're having it, I'm not quite sure what I did. I think I just kind of. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just reset everything. I reinstalled Steam and all the games and everything else, and it just seems to have worked. Maybe I just yeah, because maybe I had a, a bad copy installed. But uh, yeah, that seemed to have done the trick. So which I'm really pleased about. Oh, do you see the eff look at the effects of the uh, of the beacon next to the exhaust? And you can see the uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Little touches like that that really does please me in, in games. Um, yeah, so we're farming. Hey, we're farming. So yeah, we're going to be playing some uh, sort of Euro Truck Simulator two as well, and some farming together. And we'll be playing this. I think this is going to be a, a long, a long series um, because there's so much to do in this game. So we're going to have this running probably with Euro Truck and um, and Farming Sim 2019 once that gets released. But this game is is different to uh, Farming Sim, and I do love the way it looks. I'm not going to be skipping much, you know, we're going to be chilling out together, I don't know, get a beer, get some bacon, and, uh, and just chill out, watching me go up and down the field. <laughs> you can change your view as well, there we go. Yeah, check it out. It's got Belarus, is it? Belarus on the uh, steering wheel. I think all the mirrors work. There we go. Yeah, th those mirrors are pretty cool. Oh, look, you got a mirror there, so you can see the edge of the... Uh, so you can make sure you're... Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> It's like the op the wrong side, if that makes... I don't know. I don't know. Weird. Oh, I missed some. I think that was a little bit of lag. I was, I was saying that I fixed it. I think I just had a bit of lag there. Now, the reason why I've picked that bit up there is... It, it does actually make you want um, make you harvest the whole hundred percent of the um, the field. So if you miss a bit, you still need to do it. Well, I'm hoping that little lag there was just uh, I don't know. 
<laughs> oh, I'm panicking now. Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? That looks great. So yeah, I know they've recently uh, they've updated. Uh, there's a few DLCs out now. Obviously, you've got the map of Germany, um, Italy, uh, Japan. So there's so much to do. There's so many animals to uh, to look after now. So I'm really, really intrigued into uh, to seeing where this campaign leads us. So I'm I'm, I'm presuming that the campaign is going to be uh, uh, telling us to move on at some point. Okay, we're full. Your first task. Storage is full. So we leave it here, and then we just... Uh, uh, there we go. Put the arm out, and go get the tractor. So we've got to unload the harvester. Now you can get um, Ewan and Zachary. They are in the game. I think the uh, AI helpers are there. So we can have a look at that. Uh, let's have a look. Nope. <laughs> it's kind of on an angle there. So you just need to... There we go. Cool. Let's go over and unload the seed on our harvester. I think it's wheat. I think that's a field of wheat there. Now I think we need to be in the harvester to unload it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get that back in. Now it wants us to transport the crops over to the the silo. I think it's just going to show us how to use the silo. Um, how to pour it in, get it back out again, and then go sell it. So let's transport it to the granary. Go and drop. Looking good. And then it says uh, transfer the crops from the silo. So <laughs> we've just dumped our load in the uh, in the silo, and then we've got to go uh, pick it back up. Uh, wheat. Okay, now we gotta go sell it. So we've got to sell six thousand two hundred kilos. We haven't got that much in. We've only got three thousand one hundred ninety-nine kilos in our uh, in our truck here. So um, we're gonna have to do a bit more harvesting. But uh, what we we'll do is we we'll just take a nice stroll and sell our uh, and sell our wheat and have a look at this beautiful map. I'm sure you've come across uh, pure farming over your travels. Um, but yeah, it's running absolutely fantastic on the computer. So uh, I just really wanted to do a, a series of this. I wanted to do it. That's kind of the reason I stopped. Um, I think I just got really frustrated because I really wanted to do a uh, a video of this. And um, I was having all sorts of issues. And, uh, and thankfully, uh, hopefully, we've worked them out. Hopefully there's no more uh, lag spots. Yeah, uh, over there you can have uh, solar farms. Yeah, that's, that's become a thing, especially in the UK. Uh, I travel up and down the M5 a lot, and um, you do see some uh, solar farms um, as you're driving in the UK. So that's becoming a quite a profitable thing, I believe. So if you got a lot of you know a lot of fields that you're not using or utilising, then uh, yeah, that seems seems pretty good. And we've got some orchards. Yeah. 
Maybe we can grow grow our own apples and uh, make some cider. Yeah, that's the plan. And uh, there, there is AI vehicles and AI uh, people walking around. At some point, you'll see them. There we go. There's some of them down here. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like that lag is still <laughs> still here, isn't it? Whoa, wrong side of the road, sorry. And just go over the train line. And here's the selling point here. Cool. Sell so, 6,200 kilograms of crops. There we go. So, watch our money go up when we sell that. Nice. Does it tell us exactly how much? Uh, yep, it does. 2,000. Okay, so just over 2,000 pounds or 2,000 euro. So, we've only got, uh, what's that, 273,000 euros to go. <laughs> Let's head back to our uh, our farm and continue harvesting. So I'm using the uh, Xbox 360 controller. Um, I just find it the easiest to use. Uh, I tried using the uh, keyboards, but I think this is kind of built for the uh, controller. It just seems seems nice and easy to use. So there's a petrol station down there. I do love the fact that you've got orchards and things and, and all the animals. Oh, yeah. The start of a farm, eh? This is going to be exciting. Because we're learning together as well. Like, I don't know too much about uh, you know the end game. I haven't gone on to a different map. So I've literally just done the start of this a few times while I've been testing. And um, so uh, I'll be uh, hopefully uh, looking for the comments down below for some uh, hints and tips no spoilers or anything but uh, hints and tips for the campaign and um, yeah I'm excited I got those that funny exciting feeling you know when you start a new series yes okay there's an attachment in there uh, we'll have to have a look at that at some point Hi, honey. We're home. Oh, that's another house. That's not our house. That'd be my. I, I might be Ewan and Zachary's uh, house when we uh, when when they come over with us. Yeah, they're they're on holiday at the moment. Ewan and Zachary. So uh, looks like that that house is going to be over there when they join us. So we're only halfway through our task. So we've got all that to do, so let's just leave that here. There we go. Cool. Oh, look at the dirt mechanics as well onto the... Uh, let's just turn that on. Let's lower the harvester. Oh. Take that little bit there. Oh, I'll just pour onto the concrete. Whoops. <laughs> so I think uh, the last update that I've seen was uh, they actually working quite a lot on the bailing system. So I do believe the uh, the bailing system is working a lot better than it did. Uh, if that was an issue. But um. But yeah. I think this is a, a bit slower paced uh, than uh, FS19 uh, or FS17 was. Uh, we don't know about the FS19 just yet, but um, it certainly is slower paced. As in, I think the progression is slower. What I mean by that, and um, that's not necessarily a bad thing either, because it it kind of makes you feel like you're, you know, the effort that you put in, uh, you get the rewards for it. So. I'm, um, yeah, I'm not too bummed about that.
Yeah, and if you keep hearing it clicking, it's just turning the um, cruise control on and off. I'll tell you what, I've done it again. Let's turn that beacon on. How dare I? You see all the pumpkins out there, ready for Halloween? I don't know what everyone's plan plan is for Halloween. I don't know. Do, do you guys dress up? Do you uh, do you spend a lot of effort? You know, getting the house ready and. Uh, no, we don't tend to do much. You know, we just normally buy uh, a lot of uh, chocolate bars and um, and sweets, and just have a big old uh, big old bowl. And anybody who knocks on the door gets a, gets a handful of sweets. That's sort of my extent, really. If, uh, you know, if I had my way, I'd be dressing up <laughs> in like a scary uh, scary character and scare the little kids. But that's you know that's a bit mean. And. Uh, Stocker wife would never uh, never allow it, so. So we just hand out sweets. As a kid, um, you know, we used to uh, we used to dress up, and it was um, it was like a bin liner and a and a mask. <laughs> That's all it was. Yeah, my mum wasn't that uh, imaginative when we was uh, growing up. It was just uh, just enough, <laughs> just enough to satisfy uh, the Halloween costume. <laughs> oh, God, that was years ago now. It's a bit of an American thing, isn't it, Halloween? Um, which has kind of been adopted over here in the UK. Because where did I go the other day? And it was um, oh, we just went to the local, uh, just the local pub. And they really made an effort. There was sort of statues, no, not statues, but figurines, you know, all dressed up. Uh, you know, the fake cobweb everywhere, and um, yeah, they, they put a lot of effort in. And I don't know anybody who celebrates Halloween. I, you know, it's just a thing that. You know, you just notice in the shops, it's the thing that, you know, happens before Christmas. Um, but, um, but yeah, they made a massive effort. Okay, so we've probably got another, another pass after this one. Bring it on. Got the beacon going. We've got some wheat in our tank. It's a nice day. It's nice weather. Oh, talking of day, time is ticking on really quickly. Let me adjust that uh, time. Let me go down to sort of six. There we go. And uh, yeah, because we want this light. We don't want it dark while we're doing our task. But yeah, 24 times. It seems a bit too uh, too fast. So our last pass, and then we can go sell all our wheat, make loads of money, and retire millionaires. <laughs> this time next year, we will be millionaires. Okay, cool. That's done. Now, it's still showing 1%, which is scary, because I can't see any bits I've missed. Oh, I can see that tiny little bit there. Okay. I bet you... Yeah, it's done. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's how picky they are. So let's... Uh, let's send our boom out. And fill up our tractor. Beautiful. Let's get in our tractor. And let's go sell. Sell, sell, sell. So, um, I don't know what other equipment we we got. I know we got an attachment down in the other shed. Um, it's just probably going to get us to do some plowing, cultivating, sowing. I expect after this, but we'll see. So 
So let's have a look and try uh, in, inside the, uh, the, the Z Tour. It looks nice and basic. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Then they tractor's a tractor. Uh, you got a couple of, uh, I, I guess, they're the levers for the uh, the three point hitch in the back. Um, and we got uh, speed, fuel, temperature, uh, lights, heater. Yeah. What more do you want, eh? The only thing is missing off this is a beacon. So, uh, yeah, we need to get a tractor with a beacon fairly soon. But at the moment, that's not our top priority. Our top priority is uh, to pay back this... Um, 2,700, uh, 2,700, no, 2,750,000, God, what is wrong with my brain, 275,000, yes, <laughs> God, oh, I'll have to edit that bit, I'll have to edit that bit out, um, yeah, 275,000 euro debt that we have on the, um, on the farm, so we need to, uh, need to look at doing that. But saying that, I've always run my farming games in debt. You know, I've never been uh, lashed in money. So we'll, we'll just have to see. The butcher shop. The drive-in butcher shop. Yeah, that's an idea. That's something that hasn't taken over in the UK. You just drive in and, uh, yeah, I'll have, uh, you know, uh, a rack of ribs and some steak. Yeah, no problem. Can you uh, park in parking bay one and we're bringing over? <laughs> yeah, a drive-in uh, butcher shop. There we go. Oh. We're looking after another, uh, our friend's dog. Um, and, uh, yeah, so she's a little bit yappy. Um, not getting too well on with Maddie, to be fair. Maddie's a bit of a bully, my dog. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to go and figure out what's going on with this dog in a minute. But uh, I think we'll leave the episode here. <laughs> oh, time to spend some money. So we've got to drive to the store. So I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll leave it here and we'll pick up uh, in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. This is Pure Farming and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Ciao for now. <laughs> A dog.